So about to get underway here. Should be a good one. This is a pretty even Stephen game. We saw uh, Saturday Great Bay Community College give uh, the Mustangs a fit in the first half. Mustangs pull away in the second. <laughs> Davies set to go, and he'll get the ball to Devin Began. We're underway. Moose and White, they're going left to right. Herons in the dark uniforms right to left. Began outside on the take. Devin goes through. There's just an end. Comes back outside. Mountain's usually good from there, and he is. Well, how about that? That little unconventional offense there had an easy layup, but decided to kick it out to Martin. Good start for UMA. Herons on their first possession here. Little pop in the corner, no. Tipped away. So it looks like uh, Smith is wearing number one tonight. That's a number change. One of the nice things, when that happens with the, the home team, you catch it and you know it. <laughs> it's when it, it's a visiting team that, uh, that you don't get. Smith with it here. Skipped ahead to Brown. Tried to get a Davies intercepted there. Went right in the hands of the Herons, and here they come. Jordan Williams going to go left side now. On the take here is Mortimer. Pop back outside for the easy uh, pop up and down Ethan May. Smith kicked in the corner. Began's going to launch one just off. It's a good shot for Devin, though. He's usually pretty good from there. Comes May. Kicks it back outside. Williams, tough take. Good defense inside by Began. Somebody went tumbling. Davies went tumbling down. They'll let him get up, and now they'll go. 3-2 early. Good take for Israel. Spins out. Jordan Williams, left side. This is Bullock. And all alone, and nobody else underneath. That was a strange one. I don't think I've ever that seen that alone. in watching basketball, Rob. I think Coach Ford's a little perplexed, too, wondering... Well, it looked like they had guys down in the proximity of going down to get the rebound, and then maybe the ball tricked them off the rim, thinking that the the ball was going to kick further out. It, it just seemed like everyone just vacated the paint. Yeah, we're going to look at it because it, it, it was strange. Uh, strange days indeed. All alone. I yeah, and it, I think it was one of those instances where everyone thought that the, somebody was down underneath or was going to go in and attempt somebody else to rebound. Somebody else go get it, yeah. <laughs> somebody else's problem, perhaps? I don't know, yeah. Okay, big problem for Coach Ford. Yeah. Israel's got it now. Here he comes on the take into the front court. Kick back outside. Smith. Going to be a tough one who rolls out. Yeah, tough for the southpaw to get to his right-hand side there and uh, try and get that shot up to the baseline. You're playing right into the defender. Bullock back outside. They'll swing it back around. Mortimer's got it here. This is May. I'm sorry. May's got it. Bullock. Who's trying to dig in on the D. Nice back cut and finish by Bullock. Hunter Bullock out of Epping, New Hampshire. On the back cut. Davies hasn't got many touches yet. He's got one there. That's a good shot for him. And it won't go. Israel went up and he had dropped one home. A tough it, shot to get that up sure and over was. the rim from that angle. Williams going to drop one home from three ball land. 9-5. Keep an eye on our scoreboard. Make sure if it the score goes out, we'll have to bring it down, put it back up. We had that trouble in the first game a little bit. So far, so good. Israel's got to hunt it down. He does. Davies got it. They get it back to Davies. Began with a three. Lined it up and got it home. 
And maybe that's what it's got to be. It's got to be one of those quick fires for Devin Beaton to get him going. Yeah, boy, that, that was a, uh, a little offense by accident, as we like to say. Easy underneath. Yeah, you got to defensively got to see that happening. You know, the rotation was just late to get down there to be able to uh, make a play on the actual shot. And going to drop it home. I think it's really important for UMA to get get Brown some early confidence, Rob. We've really seen him take over games early on and kind of fade out as they've progressed. But I think for him, it's just kind of staying balanced, isn't it? Instead of getting real hot early, just be more balanced throughout the game, more evenly scoring as you progress through. Yeah, you saw the Began. And the extra point is good. Three, the extra point's up and good, says Roger. <laughs> good kick, Israel Brown. <laughs> Tipped away. The extra point. Nathan Martin will get it. <laughs> I don't know if you folks heard that. Uh, it seems we're, we're noticing that when we do a replay, sometimes the score goes back out. So we'll have to reset at 11-11. Williams was confident on the ball, didn't get it. Back outside. The south bar. May put it up and didn't get it down. Here comes Israel. Israel Brown. Hesitation went in. Yeah, that's going to get called on the offensive player 99.9% .9 of the time. Yeah, they had him sandwiched, didn't they? Almost like an L bracket. He had really nowhere to go unless he was going to try and pull up. But I think his momentum obviously carried into Mortimer there. Israel, five early points for the Moose. Kicked in underneath. That was a nice hesitation by Williams and up and in. Yeah, Williams, a veteran to play down underneath. He's a smaller guy, but he certainly knows uh, how to get those big guys up in the air. Began's been shooting well and continues. Just inside, two-point basket, Began. Devin's got five in the early going here. Good one, 13-13. Travel. Nice job. Devin Began on that upper rotation, Rob, trying to anticipate the pass, the easy one, took it away, and they were forced to put it in the corner. Maybe somebody who's not used to using the getting the ball down there. But what it did, it opened up a lot of room. You know that uh, you see that room open up, and you want to get to it because you know the defense is going to rotate over, and obviously travel occurred. Smith outside, no good. Hayes in the game. As well as Johnson for the Moose. Began's going to get called here. Fourth foul, two on the Moose. First on Began. Mortimer rolls it right side. Comes in the high post. They tried to step over on May. Couldn't do it. Open look outside. That's ringing out for DeRosa. Comes Hayes. Smith now. Taking a steal in traffic. Little, little tricky dribbling there. And I think they finally let it go bumping a little bit, and Jordan Williams got called on the foul. Only his first, team second. Moose have three, 13.57. Tied at 13. Hayes took his eyes off it a little bit there, trying to anticipate where he might go with it, and... That's always dangerous there. We're not a bounce. A couple of extra passes came to Williams. Williams muscles and fades away. Glasses at home. That's a tough play by Williams. And again, he just knows how to operate down there, Rob. Yeah, that, he does. that time kind of leaned in the defender to get him straight up in the air, but then uh, faded away and created that space. 
Smith went back, got it. Popped outside here by Johnson, got it! And Johnson hit the three ball. Shot that one with a lot of confidence. Herons looking to work in the half court. Williams going to slide to the left side. To the perimeter shot way downtown. DeRoshi's missed a couple from downtown. Yeah, and right now the Herons are doing exactly what the Moose want. They're trying to kick the ball back out and match them at the three-point line right now, and they've got easier shots down underneath. This is Mortimer for two. Who's looking to execute here in the half court? Dished inside and stolen away. They tried to get it inside to Goldman, and that got stripped away. Mortimer Williams gets doubled, stolen away. Good job there. Good hands by Hayes. Hayes ahead to Smith. Smith takes the baseline. Tough one dishes it back outside to nobody, but inside it comes and finished up by Robinson. Yeah, Robinson just kind of worked his way back over to that far side box, kind of expecting a, a shot to go up, being a re weak side rebounder, but there was no one there for the defense. And, and, and that's a nice job there by the Herons, Rob. That's what I was talking about. They've done a really nice job of getting some what would be odd man rushes in uh, the hockey lingo, right, going down towards the basket. And uh, we're going to take a look at that right now, going the other side. Yeah, so. this is the Johnson three. Came right in, shoots with great confidence there, and that's good. Just right off the bench, kneels the three ball. So that's exactly what coach wants out of him when he comes in. Yeah, you got that great high release. Eighteen, eighteen. We thought this would be a uh, tight contest. The Herons played the uh, Mustangs. One point game, I think, at the half, wasn't it, Nate? That yeah, was, it was Saturday. Really close. I, I was uh, listening to it on my way back after football Saturday, and and then I tuned back in when I got home and all that, and the Mustangs had put it away in the second half. So, yeah, they ran into some foul trouble, and it really changed their personnel. Yeah, couldn't quite get back into it and yeah. match the intensity of what CM brought out in the second half. Israel going to swing it around. This will pop downtown for Johnson. Get the first one. That one didn't go. George Mortimer comes ahead to Rocha. He's going to lay it home. Nice finish by DeRocha. Two point lead for the Herons. And looking for contact and not getting it was Israel Brown. Instead, he got called on the Travelers. He tried to skate through two yeah, almost defenders. Need, almost need one ball rotation, Rob, to kind of get the defenders to move. They're, they're initially coming down, and they're set up in a pretty good defense against Israel being able to dribble, drive, and penetrate down in. You know, they're kind of expecting that for him. Yeah. So there's got to be some form of movement for the, de the defense uh, to shift to create some space that he can work. This comes out to Mortimer. He's going to put up the left-handed one. It comes loose. Here come the Moose. On the take here is Martinez. He can back outside to Johnson. I <laughs> like that little pass between his legs. Fred was highlighted on the website, and Robinson stepped in. Let's see. We're going to look at it, and they're going to look at it, and they're finally going to say, yeah, Robinson got the job done. Let's take a look at it here. We'll get that up quickly before a play Resumes if we can. Good well, job by Robinson. I think those officials might have had separate calls, but one kind of came forward before the, the the one on the baseline there made the call. Let's look at it, Nate. Yeah, all we're looking for is make sure he's outside the arc, and that was really close. <laughs> I couldn't tell from that, but and he and he kind of took a glancing blow uh, as well. So get back to action here and lost down underneath. Rob Munzing, Nate Munzing. DeRoche has got some points in this one. We'll take a look at the uh, stats when we get a second. That was a good block. Coming over Skyne was Govan. Yeah, Coach Ford's got to be happy with that. 
that high post defense. They've really sold out on the pass and done a nice job there, obviously, with the, the block. Well, Johnson hit the first one. He's come up a little dry on the subsequent couple of shots. A little bump inside. They'll let it go. Inside. and Look at these bounce passes. Bounce passes. The last one went right to Robinson. <laughs> Patrick says thank you. Johnson take. on the take. Got slapped away. Comes back outside now to right. Right. Drops it. No. Rebound's going to come in the hands of Sean Murphy. So both teams to, to the bench pretty good. One of the guys we haven't seen, Hassan Hussein, we haven't seen him. The, played his high school ball down Lewiston. We certainly saw him in high school ball. And he had a good first half, Nate, in the game. He, against he, the Mustangs he, on set, he was on fire. Yeah, he had some big shots uh, in the first half. Kept them in the ball game and made that a really tight, really tight at the half. So this hasn't really lent itself to being one of those, um, you know, substitution kind of games, Rob. It's been back and forth. You know, a lot of one and duns and back and yeah, forth. Yeah, a lot of one and duns. Yeah, we've been stuck 2018 here for several possessions both ways. Johnson. DeRoches took a shot early on in that and took another one on the way up. So Dylan DeRoja took some bumping. I think you might need to clear the layer there to get rid of any black background music. Just an added feature that we're bringing in. <laughs> What's that? We got background music playing? You did. Okay. People probably thought I was singing. It's probably carryover from when uh, you had the clock going there. Yep. Number 33, Nathan Martin! So Nate Martin reps one. 2020. Should be okay now. Clearing the background layer. Number 23, Jordan Williams. Williams. Williams got to be the leading scorer for the uh, Herons. With nine points. Davies back in. And Martin looks like the starters are back in. Brown's going to stop, pop, no. Out of bounds. Yeah, as we always like to say, if you if you're watching and something goes uh, haywire and it's not as you would expect, uh, put a little note on Facebook. Even sometimes we're watching Facebook and we uh, we thought the game was going to start early and then it was going to start late. And I knew people would be looking for it, so I put the clock up and rearrange some of the things we have here and I didn't clear the music off to start the game so we apologize for that. Inside it goes to Martin. Martin looked for Davies. Couldn't get it to him. Now they get it up inside to Smith and it rolls off for Elijah Smith. Two point game. Stolen away. Nobody can get it. The handle was uh, not forthcoming. Williams inside. Martin fighting him. They got a muscle tussle going on down inside. We'll have a hell ball. It's going to go in possession. The Heron, so scrape people up off the floor now. And Seven twenty-two left in a tightly contested first half. Hadn't always been artistic, but they're getting after it. Williams inbound here. Comes out high. Left side now. Rodriguez is in the game, number 15. That's popped home for Hassan Hussein, just as we were talking about him not being outside. He came in, popped that left-handed three ball down, gives the Herons a five-point lead. kind of guy come off the bench and be electric. little contact there, they let go. Smith got bumped. Hussein comes in and instant offense. 
So a quick burst there gives him a seven-point lead, 27-20. Take a look at some of the stats in this one. Well, you saw that Williams was the early leader with nine points. Hussein just off the bench, five. Ethan May with four. Dylan DeRosia with three. Mortimer's got a pair. Bullock's got a pair. Take a look at the Moose. It's been uh, Devin uh, Began with five. Israel Brown, five. Nathan Martin with five. Cam Johnson's got the three he had. And Patrick Robinson to put back two. So 27-20. Glad you could join us for this moose call. Rob Munzing, Nate Munzing here from the Augusta Civic Center. We're not back till after the Thanksgiving break into December for our next game against the moose. Uh, the next game the moose will have here. It's going to be on Thursday, December 12th. You mean Machias will be in. Twenty-seven twenty. Brown back off. See if the Moose can get Davies going some. They do. Number twenty-two, Connor Davies. So Davies bang down a three ball after the timeout. Now Martin's got a steal. So we'll see if the Moose get right back into this. Although thrown away. Hussein is coming on the take. Puts it up a little short. They'll fight for it. He's got it back again. Puts it up. No, he's got a third chance. He gets bumped. <laughs> Won't be denied. How, you know, it's interesting. The, the, you know, the games that I, we've done and he's been in, he, he, boy, has he been potent. I mean, he's come in, and, and like I said before in the CM game, he was a very similar. Came right in, was instant offense, created a ton defensively, and here we're seeing a lot of the same. Twenty-seven, twenty-three, four-point lead. He's up there with it again. That one's going to bounce up off the top. Here ball. Oh. And here comes Israel. Israel Brown to Davies. Back to Brown. Brown wasn't expecting it. It came back outside to Martin. That won't go. That was a tough pass uh, back to Brown. Murphy with it. Williams dishes underneath. Hussein's got an easy put in, and we're going to get a timeout. Coach Ford wants to go for some defensive adjustments here. Let's take a look at the uh, Davies. This is after timeout. As the uh, the Moose came out of the timeout, executed well. Davies is going to roll to the center here. Little uh, dribble drive back outside. And yeah, nice awareness there on the court, Rob. Just kind of finding that void opened up as Israel Brown went through. And then he kind of curled around, finding that soft spot. Twenty nine twenty three. Foul situation. Six fouls on the Moose. Four on the Herons. Out of Great Bay Community College in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We thank our anchor sponsors and UMA for making this game possible. Fine folks up here at UMA. A.D. Gianlini. Brendan Gilpatrick helps us out a lot as well. So last time out of the timeout, they got Davies for a three. Let's see what they roll out of this one. McPherson in the game, number five to Smith. Smith, McPherson. Brian got bumped a little bit, but he kept his dribble. Spins, floats, didn't get home, got his rebound back, kicks it back outside. Davies hit one from there before. That one won't go. That one yes, it did. will. Yeah, it kind of uh, stalled on the backside of the rim, Rob, and just trickled down <laughs> in. It barely hit the net. It was really difficult to see that go in. Normally I would have jumped on a replay for that, but uh, 
I kind of came off it, and I didn't expect that one to go down. It kind of got up there and got stuck. Smith looking for some room. Davies now. Corner back outside. DeMont. Began back in. Began on the take. Floater home. Oh, halfway down and out. Devin says, what? Some good defense. I think it was Davies came in underneath there and Hussein in it. Brownie would have taken a finish. Great finish. Nice job sticking with his right hand away from the defender who's coming over underneath the basket. Makes a one-point game. Williams put it up. Williams has played a lot. Ahead. Ooh. Almost got a break there, but it came right back into Murphy. On the deflection for the Herons. Yeah, and that's too bad because that, that was an important possession there, Rob, to kind of gather more momentum if you were able to get some points out of it. Rodriguez to kick it back outside to Murphy. And the ball's loose and contested. Murphy. Into the paint to Williams. Williams going to go to Hussein in the corner. He's going to let one go, and it won't go. Good check out there. And that's Israel. Israel through traffic, through everybody. And home! <laughs> that's awesome. I I'm more impressed there, I think, with Israel's ability to dribble around everyone, put a little English on the ball, installed it. And it threw the defender off, Rob. He was able to finish on that left side using his right hand, falling away from the basket. It was a great finish. Yeah, we'll get this one up during the, uh, during the timeout. I mean, you're right. He took it the coast-to-coast, coast-to-coast uh, finish here. Let's take a look at the replay, Nate. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about there. Here he spins it a little bit and gathered his, himself away from the basket, falling away right-handed. That's a really difficult shot. The angle is, is is tough because, one, you're going away from the basket. It kind of feeds into your right hand a little bit. But uh, it, it's kind of tough to see the square. That's what you're aiming for there on that shot is the square, and it's, it's moving away from you. You're getting less and less of an angle to get to it. Well, Moose were down 29-27, so they've had uh, a 29-22, so they've had a little run here. Seven-point run for the Moose. They go up now 30-29. Israel's got nine points. Davies with six. Glad you could join us for this moose call. Got to be careful. Facebook doesn't hear that music and sh mute us down. Gosh. Outside now, Williams. Got Began on him. Defensive adjustment here going man-to-man. -man. The take for Mortimer. No, the rebound going to come out high. Nice little fake inside, outside. and Well, how about that? And they, then they went right back into their zone, Rob, after the miss on the shot. That's pretty impressive to see from UMA going two, different, two defensive sets in one, really. So Moose up by one. Hit the three-minute mark here in the first half. Great cut. Martin went up. Nice finish, Israel. Israel Israel's got ups that you don't expect, and he hangs and makes athletic plays like you just saw. That was a great play. Stolen away. Martin, nice job by Nathan. Here comes Israel through traffic. Looks underneath. Kicks it back outside. Almost a great anticipation. And actually it was. you got to give credit. I think it was Mortimer. Yeah. Came in. Got in the passing lane. Deflected it away. Almost got the steal. Didn't get the steal. But it ended up being a turnover. And it'll go over to the Herons. Yeah. Nice anticipation there in the sellout to just take that pass away. So they're talking about whether it was going to be. Uh, was it a foul or just out of bounds? 
I, I'm not sure, Rob. I thought it was a foul, but... Well, seven went out. Seven fouls for the Moose. So it must not have been, because if so it, it was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it must have just gone out of bounds. Moose looking to dig in. Williams all of a sudden takes the pop. I think they'll take that. And Djokovic with the rebound. Stolen away by Williams. Brown's back, and he bumps him. Williams went in expecting the contact, got the contact, took the contact. Now we'll go to the free throw line. One fifty three left here. First half. First one's good. Williams is the leading scorer in the game. He's got ten points. Davies goes up, tips it back to him. Hayes, Davies, says I'll shoot it off, and rebounds pulled down there by Endelkovic. We got a little tussle going on there. Govin's involved in it. Mortimer. A lot of outside shots right now for yeah. UMA, Rob. I know they've had some success, but... You know, typically that, that comes off of some ball rotations or a, just a quick kick out where somebody's got an open shot. There's a little penetration, but it didn't drop down. Govan kept a lot. Nice job there by Christopher. Going to call a block on the baseline. Mortimer got called on the block. He certainly called the block, didn't he? <laughs> Sold it. So I'm out of the... Officials manual there. See it, think it, call it, sell it. Outside now. This is going to be popped over there by Hayes for three. Hayes. Taquan Hayes hit the three ball. You know, just in compare, comparing that three-pointer to some of the other ones that they take, they've taken, Rob, I mean, that was set off of a, a cut wide open. you got to take that. And a shot it with confidence. Did Hayes. And same there. I mean, they're doing a nice job. It, 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 the one I have a problem with is when there's a man on and they're dribbling flat-footed and then put a shot up. Yeah, that one was Johnson. Johnson's got two threes. Good D in underneath. They'll swing it back outside. Belzano is going to get it up and out. And Govan says, hey, I got it. Get away. It's a good little run. For the Moose, they're up by eight. That almost crashed home. That was seven on the Richter scale. Yeah, and that's the one I'm talking about. When you drive up and you, the defender's sitting there at the line and he can contest the shot, we're going to take a look at it right here. Well, here's the one, a great cut. No one's there, late rotation, able to collect that off a pass right off his hip, and, and it's just a smooth transition up into your shooting position. Nice job by Hayes, as we said. And then uh, that was followed up by uh, Cameron Johnson's. 38-30. Moose run me in for the final seven seconds. Our clock official. Tipped away. Govan's got it. Can he do anything with it? Gets it ahead. Counted if it goes. Oh, just rung out. That was almost at the buzzer of Jalen Wright. But the Moose with a nice comeback. They were down by seven. Now they lead by eight. They lead it 38 to 30 at the half. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll look at the stats when we come back as well and uh, remind you that you are watching Munsing Media's production of Moose Basketball. Back after this. Junior Trojan Football and Cheering would like to thank Maine Athletic Fundraising. For allowing us to build this beautiful facility, we raised $18,000 in our first year with Maine Athletic Fundraising, $28,000 last year, and we hope to top that again this year.
retired United States Army Staff Sergeant Travis Mills, formerly of the 82nd Airborne Division. In 2012, I was injured in Afghanistan due to a roadside bomb. It took portions of both arms and both legs, and through Walter Reed and 19 months of intense recovery, I was able to build myself back up, learn how to walk again, drive again, and take care of my young family. Since then, I have decided to be on the road speaking as a motivational speaker. Life is all about perspective, all right? So for me, it's real easy. I gave a lot, but I didn't give everything. When I think about my situation, I'm lucky to be here. When I was on the road speaking, I was hired by CBU Benefits. Ray Valley and Brian Heath brought me in to speak at one of their forums. After hearing Travis's story, I was compelled to move forward with our relationship. We specialize in reaching out to employees and employers, explaining to them the value of supplemental health coverage. Accidents, cancer, critical illness, disability, and sometimes even death are events that happened in our lifetime. When I'm on the road speaking, I'm able to have sidebar conversations with everybody that wants to come talk to me. And I hear about their family and loved ones that are going through maybe cancer, maybe a critical illness, maybe something being disabled from a job and not having the coverage that they need because their health care just didn't cover it. After talking with Ray and Brian, telling them how much I really appreciate what they're doing, they decided that it would be just an awesome partnership if I became part of the team, not just as a spokesperson, but as an actual partner in the company. I have a message for everybody about supplemental benefits because I feel like everybody should be protected from life's unexpected events. Accidents do happen. I ask that you would allow one of our experienced representatives to come into your business so that we are able to educate you on the value of these very, very important products. The Hutchinson Family Sports Foundation is proud to support Munson Media's production of live streaming high school sports. We recognize the hard work and dedication of Maine's high school student athletes, and we applaud Munson Media's pioneering live streaming efforts. The Hutchinson Family Sports Foundation. I really picked up cycling about 15 years ago, and uh, it, you know, kind of been a passion. I actually started with a trek across Maine, and. Uh, did a lot of road biking and transitioned into more mountain biking and off-road activities. I practice a fair amount. I practice on really technical trails. And um, actually just about a year ago, uh, I was practicing here on local trails and uh, had a problem where my foot released from the pedals and drove my foot in the ground and ruptured my Achilles completely. Dr. Asherman, I think when, when I first met him, um, I at that point knew I had a full rupture. I think, I think partially as an athlete, you, you kind of try to make light of, of the injury, and I think that's a, a self-preservation type thing. I, almost like you don't want to believe that you're that hurt. Um, Dr. Ashman was pretty stern. Um, I, I'm not sure he was all that impressed with my um, maybe wanting to push through and, and had been walking on it for a week since the injury. 
Uh, that being said, when it came right down to it and they scheduled the surgery date, it was all business. Uh, Dr. Ashman uh, told me exactly what was going to be done, um, how the repair would take place, um, what, would, what I would go through uh, during the rehab portion. The time that I was off the, off the bike, um, you know, it, it was probably two months that I was off the bike and then I elected to go to OA for my rehab. Uh, and the main reason that I did that was because um, my PT uh, person, Marcus, was able to work directly with my surgeon and talk to them about my progress and they were able to kind of cater my PT um, so that I could progress at a, at a faster level. Um, and during that time, you know, I was pedaling a stationary bike. Uh, I lobbied really hard with my surgeon to get on an electric bike because I just didn't want to pedal inside. Um, it took a while, but I finally did get back on that bike. I used that for rehab a lot. Now I'm completely on a regular bike. And um, I think confidence is a big thing, knowing that uh, my ankle is strong and that I can do the things I used to do. It's still a work in progress. It's still healing. There's no stipulations of things I can't do. Uh, and I think it's one of those one of those things where uh, if I've got questions, I can make a phone call to OA and, and find out you know, what I can and can't do. Um, Marcus uh, in the PT department has, you know, I have his email and his phone that I can call him and talk to him about things I'm feeling, uh, things I can do and change to, to help progress along. Hey everyone, Travis Mills coming to you today to let you know more about CBU benefits and the plans that we offer. We're going to talk today about the accident plan and why it's so important for you to have the coverage that we offer. So one of the things with this accident policy that's really important is that a lot of people don't even understand how it works or how to use it. People think, well, I'm never going to get injured, I'm never going to get hurt, so there's no reason for me to really have it. But statistics tell us that over 40 million people are in an accident every single year in the United States. And why that's so important is it's not just for the car accidents. If you're hurt on, if your kids are hurt on a playground, if you're hurt lifting something or out doing some kind of activity, there's always a need to claim on an accident policy. Whether you're a child or into the later years of life, there's always the need for an accident policy. Thanks so much, Alex. I appreciate that. For more information, visit cbubenefits.com to get yourself protected from life's unexpected events. It was one of those gorgeous days, um, so I'm just blithely walking along up, way up the street. It's like 9, 9.30 in the morning, so of course nobody's around. And um, all of a sudden, there was either a chipmunk or a squirrel, I don't know, and I heard the whoosh of the uh, retractables. And I managed to let go with this arm, but not with this one. So two 50-pound dogs hit the end of the lead with me still holding on to it and of course it you know just lifted me up and when I came down I came directly onto my shoulder hurt it and um, my arm was also pulled way way back so 
so all of these muscles got torn. So after the MRI, that's when they found out, and the muscle had already started to atrophy a little bit, so off to um, OA I went. And um, so after consultation there and you know, looking at the MRI and the um, x-rays, the message was um, shoulder replacement. <laughs> but I could only have a reverse shoulder replacement. So what that means is where I used to have the ball on the uh, humerus and the socket on my shoulder, I now have the ball on my shoulder and the socket on my humerus. They do a lot of, you know, getting back your, you know, the range of motion. Um, I could not lift my arm at that time because once you lose your rotator cuff, you no longer have those four muscles to raise your arms. So the muscle that raises your shoulder now is your deltoid. And that's not a particularly well-developed muscle, um, it for, well, anyway, for me. So a lot of the therapy was strength training to start using this muscle. Now I have a fine muscle up here. It's tight, taut. I went back to school, um, January 22nd was the back into class and did all my clinicals. Um, it was a little more difficult because I you know, had to have help in terms of lifting people or whatever, but the rest was you know, not really an issue. And I graduated in May, got licensed in June, had my first interview yesterday. So here I go. <laughs> I can't speak highly enough of Dr. O'Malley. He's, he, he's excellent in meeting the patient where they are, which I'm um, very much involved in my own health care and want to know everything, you know, and he was very good at doing that and um, not raising expectations but not putting, you know, limitations. And he shared with me that, you know, that this is a movement I can no longer do. I cannot turn my arm that way because I don't have that rotation on my shoulder. And he can't either, so. <laughs> Rob Munzing, Nate Munzing, joining you back here from the Augusta Civic Center. You see the halftime score. The Moose 38, Herons 30. Take a look at the first half stats individually. Let's take a look at Great Bay Community College. Jordan Williams with 10. Hassan Hussein with 7, and those came late. Ethan May with 4. Dylan DeRosier, 3. They're the top guns so far. We'll take a look at the Moose Ledger. Israel Brown with 11. Cameron Johnson, a couple of threes. Got 6 points. Connor Davies. Also a couple of threes for six. Devin Began with five. Nathan Martin, five. Daquan Hayes with three. Patrick Robinson's got a pair of points for your moose. That's how they get the 38. So we're underway here. Second half action. Moose will have it first. Smith with it. Davies almost lost it. Goes back and gets it. Martin inside, and <laughs> Israel almost got knocked over to uh, out up to the marketplace, right up through the wall. Out he goes. Martin will go through. They'll skip it back outside for the three-point shoot of Began Gold. Yeah, then they've done a really nice job out of... Uh, the baseline execution plays for the three-pointer. Well, that was really nice execution. The Moose do such a good job on their uh, dead ball situation plays, Nate. Spun inside Mortimer. Nice move by Mortimer. George Mortimer. Smith with it. Smith got some trouble. Gets it back outside to Mon. Nathan skips it back inside. They're going to reset the offense here. Began thought he was going to cut through, and the ball came and hit him on the elbow. Mortimer is going to skip it ahead, up inside. And two guys trying to save it. Both took it out of bounds. 
Yeah, Mortimer had it, but uh, his teammate <laughs> followed him out of bounds. He had no play. Couldn't ricochet it off him. Davies, Began. Pop outside. No, bump inside, and they were going to let it go, but they had to call it. Yeah, forced to travel there, so the foul making... Uh, Cazorano was going to uh, get knocked out of bounds and travel, as Nate said, so they called it. Forty-one thirty-two. Going to change it to second half here. Do that in the next dead ball for you. Get a push. There we go. Now we're back official. Mortimer's had a good game all around for the Herons. A little pressure here now comes up, and Moose get it up high. A little give and go. Davies goes. Let's see. They're going to call a block, I believe. And oohs and ahs out of the Heron crowd, which is mostly across the way that we can see. We'll let you call this one at home as soon as we get it geared up. I don't know how they're not calling that. He was shooting when the contact was made. They said that was on the floor, Rob. Yeah, I thought I'd have time to get a look at it. Doesn't seem to make sense. Let's see if we can bring that up, Nate, when we get a second. Coach Ford calling for some movement. Smith will loop it up, but it won't go. Grabs Mortimer from behind, but Mortimer says, I'm going anyway, and goes all the way. Can't get it, followed, and home. Let's take a look at that, Nick, because I think you're right. See what you think of uh, Connor Davies here. This is on the other end. Yeah, well, oh, he's geez, clearly up yeah. in the air shooting the ball yeah, when yeah. the contact's made, and it, Mortimer slid underneath him, so it was, it was the right call, but it, yeah. it, it should have been a shooting foul. So Falzano got the hoop, get the scoreboard up, see if we can bring that back and work it out. There we go. So Heron's coming along a little bit, and uh, Moose helping him with some turnovers. Mortimer now. Comes Mortimer. Hesitates. Lost it himself. Can they get it ahead to right? They get it to Davies. Yeah. They're going to call that one a block. All right. Yeah, they got to continue. I mean, I think they set the president the, the precedent. <laughs> Not the president. Not the president. <laughs> the Donald J coming tonight. down, taking offensive charges. Yeah. I don't think yeah. that would happen. Yeah. You're taking some slings and arrows right now, but I don't love <laughs> charges. <laughs> so it's, we'll see it right here, Nate. This ball just kind of got slung back, and I don't think it was to Davies originally, but... He ended up with it. He's got to help his team out here. Going to make make this foul shot. All right. So they got that one. Jeff Parkett watching. Adi Prescott, two of my former players. Then Malcolm Gerard's watching. Forty-two thirty-seven. That's the UMA score again. Boy, Williams muscled that one up and down. Whew. 
was a heck of a shot right there. It sure was. Well, just to get to the presentation stage of the shot was something. Davies outside now. Comes out high to Martin. Martin turns, pops. No. Come back underway here for the Herons. They'll get it inside quickly. And Lazzarano finishes here. He's got a good second half. Got a one-point game, 42-41. So the Moose's lead is down to one. They're up to nine. Up to 11, I think, at one point. Herons have come back. We're back with you not until uh, December. As uh, Humane Machias will come in. Six and eight o'clock on those games, women's and then men's. Those should be two good contests. We've seen uh, Umaine Machias this year play at uh, Central Maine. So I think the two teams match up, men and women. It should be a good night of basketball. Floater rolls out. Wright's going to get that uh, Govan. Davies lost it out of bounds. So pretty good uh, couple of shots here. Wright had the best opportunity. Rolled out on him. Mortimer. Tipped away. And on the line is Smith. It's our buddy Corey David from... Central Maine Community College up here scouting. Going to want to see if Corey wants to do a little color analysis with me in a game coming up uh, this Saturday as is just a women's game. Oh, that's a pretty play by Williams, wasn't it, Nate? Gee, because he's scooted through. Yeah, I, I think some of the, the shorter, what would be big men, have an advantage sometimes because they, they've adjusted. They've always had to go down and play down underneath Rob. Yeah. And they've been able to be effective if they're a good player by changing their shot angle. He does a nice job of that too where he, he'll go up, bring the ball up and get a hand, but then he'll kind of wrap it around, bring it down and, and change the shot angle so you can't reject him. Uh, and he's, he's very accurate in doing that. He's made a couple of those kind of acrobatic shots. Smith half down and out, and nice follow by Davies. Three for quarter, four for 25 uh, cents extra, and now he's skimped up. Both guys get up a little slowly. But Davies will get uh, free throws in a one-point game. About five minutes played here in the second half. Davies with a chance to tie this up at 43. He won't do it. Comes Ethan May. Got it in the corner to Hunim now in the game. Craig Hunim. Number 10, Hunter Bullock. Hunter Bullock. Three-point lead. Davies going to hold outside. Cutter comes through. Back in the corner. Govan's got one lined up. Rolls it out. And nice underneath finish that time by Cameron Johnson. Doing a little board banging down inside. And they're finally able to uh, convert there, Rob. They've had a bunch of those little bunnies that have been really difficult because they've all been contested. And he just... He just manned up, went up with it strong, was able to make that layup. Herons in the half court. They'll give it off there to May and get a hold. 
Fouls are creeping up here for both teams. That's the fifth foul now on the Moose. Yeah, we had a pretty good back and forth in the first half. A lot of one and duns. But the uh, the flow was a little better. A little herky-jerky here. A lot of stoppages early on. Good pass. Johnson's got it home. Johnson having a good game. Came out of the blocks, hit that early three. Hit another one later. He's got a couple of other baskets, so he's having a good game tonight. We'll see what Cam's got here cooking. He's got 10. Brown's got 11. Johnson with uh, 10. Vegan, 8. Davies, 7. Not a conventional offensive set. Goldwyn got it back over. Inside. Goldwyn's doing a good job on the boards. Davies got a good open look and knocked that down. Well, they just got him out of position, Rob. I think that rebound, a nice job by UMA out down underneath. Bringing it back out. Smart play. Bring it back out and kind of slow the defense down, thinking that you're going to stall. And boom, Davies just open again. The top of the key, that seems to be his spot. Yeah, Davies got a couple of threes, and again, probably three threes, three out of four from the three-point line. Johnson's two out of six from the three-point line. Vegan's two for three. Martin, one of two. Hayes, one of two. So they're your three-point shooters. Brown with 11. Johnson with 10. And now Davies with 10. It's a little run by the Heron. Moose came back. Moose lead now after being down by a couple. They're back out 49-45. Glad you could join us here. I want to wish everybody the happiest of Thanksgivings. You know, some of the players will probably get home, some of them maybe for the first time for the Thanksgiving Day long weekend. Although, I'm not sure if there's games this weekend for the kids or not. We know there's uh, no home games here for us to cover here for the Moose, and we will have a Mustang women's game in our YSCC coverage area, so I'll take on Ryan Stratton. That's a 2 o'clock game on Saturday. Chris Bennett in the game. Running point guard now. Bennett, right side. Bennett got it back. Bennett looking to get somebody wiggled loose. All the way over to Mortimer. Mortimer's going to take the southpaw three and hit it. It's a good job of the timeout by the Herons. They cut it down to one point. Davies. Johnson. Johnson would have lean. Can't get it. He's got the rebound. Can't get it. Still contesting. Good hustle play by Cam. And now we're going to get a Foul, it looks like, came in late. And did they call the foul on the Herons? Yeah, they called it on Hayes. Okay. Second on him. Fouls for five apiece. One point lead for the Moose. Comes out high. Davies. Williams comes out on him. Began. Smith, Jalen Wright. Number nice job by Wright. Finish. Extra, extra dribble, Rob. Send him to the far side. Plenty of room over there. Easy bucket. Mortimer. Moose in zone. Mortimer just hit a three. Now he kicks it in the corner for a little put up. And probably good that Mortimer for the Moose didn't shoot because he's been pretty hot. Boy, and that, that might be the hardest angle on the court to yeah. try and make a shot. As a right-handed shooter on the right side, down and kind of in, you got to shoot over the backboard almost. Johnson floats it up there. Didn't get home. Bennett. Bennett hesitates, kicks it out. Williams with a three. 
a little long. Knocked around, came to Mortimer. Mortimer got hit inside, and Bench wanted to call. He didn't get it. Boy, very athletic play by Smith and a finish. Yeah, he deserved that, oh, didn't he? Boy. Did. Fantastic job on the baseline there just to avoid most of the contact and really it set up his second shot because it put him in a good spot to be able to put the ball, the, the rebound, and then to get the shot up right over the front of the rim. Not an easy one here. We're going to take a quick look at it before the foul shot, Nate. Yeah, here, nice dribble around, and he splits the defenders. A lot of contact there. I thought there was going to be a foul, and it looks like they rewarded him here, although there was clearly a contact on the arm. He may struggle from the foul line. Yeah, missed the... Uh, and we can take a look at that stat here when I get a second. I do now. Two or six from the uh, charity stripe. 33%. 14 turnovers apiece for both teams. Pretty close in rebounds as well. I didn't see what happened. Uh, technical, I think Williams having uh, a few choice words after that travel call. Wolves continue. One of two. Fifty-four forty-eight. Moose will get the ball too. So, Let's see if they can't convert this. Stolen away. Ooh, and I don't know about ball. that. Boy, Govan looked like he did a nice job of keeping his body away from Williams when they're up in the air, Rob. He certainly got all ball, put it right back down on the floor. Take a look at it between shots, Nate. Yeah, you can see they're, he's setting up for it. Straight up. And, whew, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, call it at home, boys and girls. Yeah, I, I think if you take a look at that, you're going to see that Williams initiated that contact into Govan, who was straight up. So, I mean, you kind of let it play. And you, you watch the shot happen. Smith with a good take. Didn't get the finish. Bennett with it now. Chris Bennett. Bennett gets cut off. Coach Ford saying no penetration out of that zone. They want to make sure they don't give any opportunities that are easy. Back cut. They got a little break there on that one. Down to four on the shot clock. Bennett's got to go. And Connor said, you're into my kitchen. Ahead it comes. Too hard for Israel Brown. It comes to Williams. Nice finish. Arzano got the basket. Cuts it to three. Ten minute mark. We got ten to play in this one. Began. Smith, tricky dribbles in the paint, puts it up, puts it home, pretty play. I mean, you can't defend that. If you spin away from the defender and there's no one there, if you can control your body, go straight up like he did, I mean, there's not much you can do. Very well done. Williams going to take a long one, going to hit it. Got a three-point basket. Got Davies on the backside. They got Began, a three-point shooter right there. Can't get it. Davies goes up, almost got the rebound. Came to the Herons. Here they come. Rodriguez gets it back outside. Goes left to Williams. Just hit one. He got another one. They closed out too late. He's on the bench. Number 23, Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams. Back-to-back -back threes. Giving the Herons the lead. Dropped inside, and a foul is going to be called, and we'll be shooting everything now and for the final 8-53. Israel Brown, as you said, Nate, not 
doing a great job at the free throw line. Yeah, but th this is uh, this is crunch time here down the stretch. You got to be able to hit these, kind of put all that, all those previous misses to the side here, and focus on these ones moving forward. Israel's a good free throw shooter. Yeah, and then that's the thing. I mean, he he's the one that hasn't missed any. So yeah, right. That that's the guy you want right yeah. now. You want him to be aggressive. You want him to take the ball to the hole and get those fouls and get to the line. And he's two for two. Three for three now. So got to execute the small things. You're in a tussle. Either whichever team does that, got some good defense there. I think it was Govan again. He's a really good defender, long and lanky, and really gets in the passing lanes well. Moose caught a break because uh, Williams was unselfish. Yeah, <laughs> really, you know? but I think you saw Davies was right there to be able to make a play on it, and he kind of elected to forego that. Nice finish there. Govan has had a heck of a game. Yeah, his, his, he has. His defense on the high post has really made this 2-3 uh, uh, defense really difficult for the Herons to figure out. Now they're just kind of passing around and making tougher shots for themselves, Rob. That was a very good... Uh, play uh, by Govan to finish. We'll bring it up on a replay and we'll get a second. Ooh. I mean, you don't want to do that. Uh, I mean, yeah, well, <laughs> Connor got up and uh, got lost a little bit. Good head and shoulder fake. Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams having a heck of a game. Get his stats here in a minute. Back outside. begin has got one nailed. Began's got three threes in the game. Bennett crosses it over. They'll go baseline to w Williams. You're okay, I think, if you're UMA. If that ball goes baseline, you know they can't really make that shot. It's that one you got to worry about, right? They start working the ball around the perimeter. Yeah, Bennett knocked it down. Bennett's first shot of the game. Yeah, nice rebuttal there for the Herons. Began tipped away. Yeah, so Williams got 23 points. Nobody else in double figures. Mortimer with nine, and it's been Williams leading the way here so far. Moose have a little bit more balanced scoring. Israel 13. Began at 12. Johnson and Davies 10 each. Comes in. Back outside. Williams launches one up, and it's loose, and is it going to go out of bounds? He was out of bounds, Rob. He completely stepped out of bounds. They missed that. And it's going to stay. Well, let's see if we can get a look at that, Nate, if I can pull that up quickly. I'm not sure if I can or not. Oh, you went past it, dude. Yeah, we're not going to see it because we're going to get a replay thing on it, so we're not... The uh, replay banner would cover it. We wouldn't see him step out of bounds. One point game, 63 62, and an adventure getting the ball in here. Began almost with a steal and got a bump instead. That's going to send them to the line now. Chris Bennett just hit the three. Ball's loose, and Moose will come down with it. Martin back to Cameron Johnson. Cam's had a heck of a game. The 6-3 freshman out of Odessa. Began. Brown's got it. Steps back for three. Launches. No. Rebound. Began. Launches a long three. Gets it. 
Boy, you hit him. If he's smooth, now that's a huge three. Fantastic shot there by Began, way behind the three-point arc. But like I said, for him, his release is quick. It's just got to be there. If he's got time to think about it, it usually acts against him. If he just gets up and chucks and fires, he's way look. more effective. Yeah, Take a look at it. this whole sequence with the timeout. We could go back a little bit. Yeah, yeah that was a Brown miss. good decision there. Govin kicking it out to Began. And how about that? That's a <laughs> that's a raindrop. That was a long range dedication right there for Began. Gives the Moose a 66, 62 lead. And the thing about uh, Devin, he's got confidence in his shot, that's for sure. He's now got 15 points on the game. He's 5 for 8 from the field. More importantly, 4 out of 6 from the three-point line, Nate. 1 for 2 from the line. So he's, he's playing with three fouls. Brown's got four fouls. Smith's got three. So we'll see what the Herons do out of the timeout. Four-point lead for the Moose. Moose looking to dig in on the D. Pretty well contested underneath by Johnson, and it's going to be Moose basketball, they say. And it looks like the Herons want to put some full-court pressure on, so... No, nope, they're going to back it off. I thought they were going to come up and step up the D. Well, they're, they're face guarding uh, Israel Brown right now. And so we'll see if somebody else steps up. Martin on the swoop. Beautiful dish underneath. What a great find. He's been working that. He, he understands that def the defender's coming off of that baseline player to come in... Uh, Defend him as he drives in. Good little wraparound pass. Beautiful wraparound. Good take baseline and finish. DeRozier on the finish. Martin. Martin's had a good solid game. It comes to cutter. We'll take a look at that play, Nate. The Martin feed. Yeah, here, nice little off bait. Got the defender in the air. Backs are turned, and boom, he saw the defender come over to him. Late rotation down. His man couldn't get to him. Good little wraparound pass. Sixty-eight, sixty-four. Tough take. Martin with the rebound. That was Rodriguez. Brown, Johnson, he goes in the traffic and lips it out, but Johnson's been effective tonight. He's played with great confidence tonight, taking it hard to the hole, hitting some outside shots. The people in Texas watching down there, we're seeing a lot of them uh, chiming in on Facebook. We can't really respond to you because we're trying to do too many things here, but uh, we're glad to see uh, the folks uh, in the Odessa area. Supporting their kids and friends. Glad we could bring you th these games. I think uh, folks that are watching, you want to thank the fine folks at UMA for getting on board with this streaming a long time ago. They were one of the early ones. 7064. Coach called baseline, and they gave it up, and they paid the price for it as DeRosia. Got in. Yeah, but I, I think if, if they force the ball down underneath, they're going to be able to maintain this lead. Uh, I think they really got to take away that three ball. They can't give up any open threes to uh, let the Herons right back in this thing. Johnson wants a launch. And he got it. And then that's a huge hit, Rob. Shot right in. Sequence and knocked it home. DeRocious really is having a heck of a... He's back to back to back. Cameron 
Johnson with it here. Going to work. Trips over to Martin. Back inside, Brown. Skips it and went out of bounds. We'll take a look at the Johnson three, Nate. Yeah, good find here. Again, Martin's led you a lot of points tonight, Rob. And boom, what a, what a hit. Just found him. Any time that it seems, and I think probably the previous play of Martin driving down in, you know, the defenders kind of sunk down into the paint and opened that up. 73-68, 320, crunch time. Every possession important. Mortimer going to work, and Brown might have got a kick save and a beauty. Here comes Israel. Oh, he Goes up, it. lays it in. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad they missed that call. He's there, he, de he definitely kicked it, but... I mean, he's working hard off the ball. They're face guarding him. Alex Berth, the head coach of the Herons, came right out and started going through the kicking motion. Can't blame him. It's right in front of him. Into the corner it goes. We'll take a look at that one, Nate, see, see if we get it. I, I might have been a little late to pick up the, the play. No, I, I think I got it. We'll take a look at it, Nate. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he literally put his foot right, in, right <laughs> down to the ball and stopped it. It was a... I'll take it. What do they call that? So I'm not a soccer guy. A they trap. stalled, a stalled trap. it. A trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah a trap. Yeah, yeah. He trapped it. Well, we're coming back here. Live for you. You may score disappeared, so we'll clear it and bring it back. See it's 75, 68. Connor Davies, what are they gonna call? They're gonna call it offensively, so. 233, that was a big sequence there. 75, 68. Plenty of game left. Both teams at nine fouls. So we'll be shooting the bonus. Williams decides to take it. Why not? Got to force him to the basket. He's That's that's his third three here in the second half, Rob. And it seems like there's been a defender out on him, but it doesn't matter. Smith, he wants to take it. Launches it. Rolls it in and out. DeRoja's got it. Through traffic. Loses it. Numbers. Who's ahead? Johnson comes in. Lays it up and in. Very smartly done. I like what Cameron did there. He didn't have any foolishness. He didn't try to do anything other than just put it up and in with the defender chasing from behind and didn't try to go up and dunk it or anything else like that. So good decision. Johnson's had a heck of a game here tonight. Oh, that's backcourt. Yeah, he stepped on the line. Tough one for Mordecai. He's played a good game tonight, too, and those things happen sometimes. You know, can't fault the kid. You've got to fault the pass. It was a little bit high, so it made him step back. And you see the score, 77-71. Out quickly. Williams jump stop. Oh, that's a travel. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. He did the right thing and then did the wrong thing, didn't he? Yeah. Got the, got the two down and then one with an extra step. 125, Nate. You got a six point lead. Got 30 seconds on the shot clock. I would think you'd probably really want to take this down. I think, uh, I'm not sure who called a timeout. I think it might have been Coach Ford. Took the timeout. Yeah, you definitely want to take as much as the clock here. As you possibly can. It's only two possession game, so if you flip it over onto the Heron side, they're okay with that. You bring it down um, and create the stop and get get quick buckets. That's that's the other thing, too. You've got to maintain your possessions and get as many as possible moving forward. But you have to get shots up very quickly if you're able to make a stop here and let them run the clock down for 30 seconds. And take a look at some of the highlights here in the end going here. This is early on in the game. Johnson got cooking early. Is that a heck of a game? It's one of Johnson's threes from early on. 
another three coming up here. Back outside to Johnson again. That was the good find by Williams. Cam's got 17. Began 15. Began's 4 of 6. Johnson 3 of 8 from the three point line. Tough spot to inbound it. Yeah. Nicely done. Smith with the swoop of Rama for two. <laughs> you know, you never want to limit athleticism Whoa. or an athlete. Just go make a play, and that's what yeah. he certainly did there. He wouldn't worry about the clock ticking now. Well, that's important because it moves it outside of just the two possessions. Three yeah. possessions now, Rob. Well, you don't want to take anything but a layup, and they did. They got good defense. They called jump ball. It's going to favor the Herons. Both teams at nine fouls, 101 left. Yeah, we've got the clock up to date. I think they might come in and back outside to Williams. One minute remaining in the game. And that's going to be white ball, yeah. Coming up and over and knocking it out of bounds with the Herons. They got somebody deep. Can they hit him? Ooh. It was uh, pass interference on Connor Davies on the touchdown catch. <laughs> yeah, you got to almost anticipate wow. that he's going to be open down there and get that so you almost get a bounce at the three-point line and they can collect it because if not, that, yeah. that's what you run into. In a minute. Coach making sure they don't foul a three-point shooter, and there's that guy. That's an that's intentional a, yeah. foul, right? Better yet, they're just going to give him the, the make. Give him the continuation, yeah. the make, right? You got to like that if they're Coach Ford. Well, Cam did the right thing. He just kept going. He said, well, I'll let you guys figure it out. I mean, he grabbed his jersey. I don't know how. I, I and I'm not sure Coach Ford wants an intentional foul. I think he might have a, an argument for that. But like we said, he kind of let the continuation happen yeah, so to they see get, the play. I think they got the better of it. Yeah, We'll I mean, take a look at it right here. Here's the pull. Then he let him go. Right. Because technically, so they, they gave him the points there. This should yeah. probably have been on the floor. Right, right. He would have had to go and shoot two. I think it's a good balanced <laughs> decision, it, right? Solution. It's a solution to a problem. I think it worked out great. Yeah. Pop outside. Long. Loose. And out of bounds. And they're going to say white. Eighty-two, seventy-four. They've actually they got a foul. They got a, yeah. They, uh, there's no point in waiting. And, and they got the right guy with the ball that they want. There's a foul. They, that should have come in the backcourt, Rob. Immediately yeah. when the ball was inbounded at thirty-four seconds, they should have had a foul. And I'm looking at Israel right now. He's kind of smiling because he was <laughs> dribbling around for yeah. a little while. Well, they the Moose wanted Israel to be the guy taking the free throws because he's been good from the line. Let's see what uh, Elijah's at the line. 0 for 1. He'll pull everybody out. You just got to find Williams on the opposite side. Mortimer and Williams. And they also have Hussan on on the court as well. Number 12, he's running up the... Yeah, left he hasn't side. played much. He's, he came in, comes in, he's instant offense. I mean, there you go. I mean,. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm with you. I mean, that, this is the second game that we've seen him that he didn't really get into the second half, Rob. It doesn't make sense. He was absolutely on fire in CMCC in the first half, and he came right in and was instant offense and defense here in the first half of this game, and then we don't see him until under a minute to go in the yeah. game. Yeah, and the, his first touch is in. I'm going to see what his uh, shooting stats are, Nate. Come on, man. 
84-76. Kick back out for the three. Williams, he's been good from there. That one won't go. Tipped around, and Davies has got it. That ought to do it. They'll wrestle him. So the Moose, a hard-fought victory here. They'll improve to 3-6 and six on the season, 3-5 and five in the league. Great Bay Community College going to fall to 3-6, and 2-6 six, and six in the league. I think they're a pretty good 2-6 and six team too, Rob. Yeah. You know, so the games that I've seen here, obviously tonight, and then at uh, Central Maine Community College as well, I think that record's a little deceiving. Number 42, Connor Day. Ten point lead. They'll let that one go and float and home. <laughs> That's incredible, mate. Well, yeah, he's yeah. been he's been incredible. I like you gotta get him more minutes, coach. You <laughs> uh, maybe you know it's, yeah, he's it's got twelve interesting. points. Yeah. He's got twelve points. He's probably taken four shots. Three or four shots. Let's see if I can find his minutes played, if I can look at that quickly. I can't. I can't find that right away, so So Williams is going to finish with 29 points. What a game for him. Number 25, Israel Brown, too good at the line. So Israel hits his free throws, and the Moose come out with the victory. And uh, somebody's calling in. <laughs> the final, 88 to 79. Well, we're glad you enjoyed it here tonight. It was really a good game back and forth. It went... And uh, let's take a look at uh, your moose and how they came out of this. Cam, Cameron Johnson with a breakout game. 20 points on the game. 7 of 16 from the field. 3 of 8 from three-point lane. 3 for 3, perfect from the free throw line. 7 rebounds also for Cameron Johnson. Israel Brown, 18 points. Be uh, Devin Began with 15. Connor Davies with 12. Elijah Smith with seven, Nathan Martin with five, and several really good assists. He had three assists in the game. I think all three of his assists led to threes. Chris Govan with four points. Daquan Hayes, he's got three points chipping in. Jalen Wright, a pair. Patrick Robinson, two points for your moose. An 88 to 79 victory here is your final. Well, we want to thank you all. Joining us here tonight, and a sweep for your moose. Women won going away, and the men 88-79 to 79 in a good game here in the nightcap. Well, we want to wish you all the very best of Thanksgiving weekends, safe travels, and uh, spend that great quality time with your families. Until a couple of weeks from now, we'll be back here in December on the 12th. Uh, we'll say good night, everybody. For Munzing Media.